Good afternoon. My name is Larry Klayman. I'm the founder of both Judicial Watch and now Freedom Watch. I'm currently the chairman and general counsel of Freedom Watch. And to see what we do and to contribute to our cause, go to www.freedomwatchusa.org. This is an update with regard to the scandal involving unconstitutional illegal surveillance of American citizens by the Obama administration in particular and the Trump team both before the election and after the presidential election, which ultimately resulted in General Michael Flynn having to resign as National Security Advisor quite unfairly and improperly. In recent days, we've learned that Susan Rice, who was Obama's National Security Advisor, was unmasking names of individuals caught up in surveillance, if you believe that, I think it was intentional and it was direct, with regard to foreign powers and foreign entities. And during this time period, before this revelation, when President Trump first tweeted that he thought that he was being wiretapped by Obama, he was vilified widely, particularly by the leftist media like CNN, MSNBC, NBC. He was called crazy, he was called insane, he was, as he is virtually every minute of every day, called a liar. But in fact, the real liar here is Susan Rice. She lied about Benghazi, claimed that it was the result simply of an attack by individuals in the words of Hillary Clinton who then lied just like her later before Congress out for a walk one day that were upset about a video of the Prophet Muhammad which by the way was accurate uh, we don't need to get into that here the guy was a degenerate but the reality is is that these people uh, have perpetrated perhaps the biggest scandal in American history and anybody who challenges them anybody who holds them accountable for their lies and the illegal and unconstitutional surveillance with Judge Richard Leon in two cases which I brought found to be almost Orwellian. You can see that again at freedomwatchusa.org, those cases and our victories. They're all branded as crazy people, treasonous and everything else. And Judge Napolitano, Andrew Napolitano, a friend of mine on Fox News, was also vilified for saying that British intelligence was somehow involved in this illegal surveillance of Trump people and Trump himself. And just yesterday we found out, in fact CNN had to eat its words, that in fact that had occurred. The British intelligence was forwarding information about people on the Trump team and perhaps Trump himself to the Obama administration, obviously to use for political purposes. So not only does Judge Napolitano deserve a apology, but so does President Trump himself. And it just turns out that all these things that were out there in the media uh, that President Trump was saying, that Judge Napolitano was saying, that I was saying, that whistleblower client Dennis Montgomery, who has the goods on these people, who we represent as a character and a figure bigger than Snowden himself, that can tell you that the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, 156 judges, other prominent businessmen, myself, and President Trump himself have been illegally surveilled for years. We all turned out to be correct. We don't need to apologize for anything, but they need to apologize for us. And better than apologizing to us, frankly, these people should be sued for defamation. That's CNN, MSNBC, NBC. We have a leftist media strike force. We're looking for means to do that daily. And people like Susan Rice and the president himself should ultimately be indicted, convicted, and thrown in prison because you cannot have an Orwellian police state where hanging over our heads our intelligence agencies whose activities are being perverted for political and personal ends. That is extremely dangerous. I can't even talk to my clients without fearing that I'm being surveyed. And I've had some very strange things happen on my cell phone, particularly after I became very public about trying to bring Dennis Montgomery, the whistleblower, public. There will be further lawsuits on that. Just watch. Uh, these actors are going to be sued. And I look forward to anybody who wants to enforce the rule of law to contact Freedom Watch at www.freedomwatchusa.org, www.freedomwatchusa.org, or email me at leclayman, K-L-A-Y-M-A-N, at yahoo.com. Because we need to rise up legally, peacefully, and we need to put an end to this Orwellian police state which threatens the very fabric, fabric and existence of our republic. I want to wish you all a happy Easter and a happy Passover. God bless you. God bless America. God save America. We have a job to do in waging a second American peaceful revolution.